What's up gamers, The Red Dragon here, and we are checking out the latest gaming and tech news. Today we are taking a look at the medical field, which doesn't sound interesting whatsoever, but trust me, this is high-tech stuff and could affect every single person here in the near future. So, let me begin by saying that I hate going to the doctor. I would guess that most people do. I can count on one hand probably the number of times I've been to the doctor probably in the last several years. I just hate going. In fact, if I'm sick, I'll usually stay sick a little bit longer just to get rid of it on my own because I feel like if I go into the doctor, I'll probably pick up something that I didn't have before I went in there because you're just in there with a bunch of sick people. And you know, usually when you go, it's usually for simple stuff that you already know what's going on. Like you, you have a head cold or sinus infection you can't get rid of. And if you call and you've got a good relationship with your doctor, sometimes you can call and they'll just call you in something without you having to go in there. But if you don't have that good relationship with that doctor, it's a pain to go in there, take a day to go to the doctor's office and sit there and wait for something that you already know what the end result is going to be. He's going to go in there, he's going to write you a prescription for like a Z-Pack or something, and then you're out of there. But what if things went back to the way it used to be, where the doctor would actually pay a visit to your house? Now, I'm sure probably the vast majority of you are too young to remember when doctors used to pay visits to people's house. Nowadays, if you want to pay a huge sum of money, they'll still do that, but it's very rare. And uh, part of that is, you know, the villages, you know, if we just want to call them that, cities, towns that you live in, whatever, uh, there's so many people there that it's impossible for a doctor to go pay a visit to everybody's house. But that could be about to change. You could actually have the doctor with you at all times, whenever you need it. And access to this medical care would actually be based on devices that a lot of people already have. A lot of people already have smartphones and basically iPads, smartphones, they're just little computers that you're carrying around with you nowadays. Most people don't even use their phones for mainly calling. They use it for all sorts of other stuff. And the medical field is actually jumping on board and there's a lot of different companies that are developing some really high-tech stuff and we're not just talking about apps here. Stay with me. First off, let's take a look at some of the devices actually being developed right now. Walgreens and Apple Store, they actually already have a device that you can buy and you can check your blood sugar level. So if you're a diabetic, you can plug this into your phone. It actually keeps up with your sugar. You can keep a calendar of how you're doing as far as that goes. I don't know. I'm not a diabetic, so I'm not sure how it all works. But it comes with a device. You can stick yourself, put a piece of blood on the strip plug it into your phone and it actually reads out what your level is. And it doesn't stop there. In September, they've got the iHealth wireless blood pressure wrist monitor that you can wear and it attaches to your iPhone, iPad, or iPod. And it'll tell you your heart rate, your blood pressure readings. Uh, they've got other heart monitors that, you know, use those little pads that you hook up to you that can, you know, tell you if you've got irregular heartbeats or whatever. And uh, UCLA is actually developing uh, an E. coli sensor for water. So you can actually dip this into the water and it'll tell you if the E. coli bacteria is actually there. So you can kind of see from this direction where all this can go. It's kind of limitless. Now, of course, this is not going to take the place of a real doctor. If you've got real ailments, if you break your leg, you're going to have to go to the freaking doctor. But for all sorts of stuff, we might get to eliminate a lot of those doctor visits, which will be very, very pleasing to a lot of people, including myself. One of the most interesting things that I saw being developed was a San Francisco company is actually developing an otoscope that attaches to your phone's camera lens. Now, this, if you don't know what an otoscope is, it's that thing that the doctor places in your ear to look down into your ear canal or your nose or your throat. You know, it's, it's the thing that they always use. So that's what that's called. This company is developing one of those that, you know, you can place it into your kid's ear take a picture using your phone's camera and then send it to medical professionals. Or maybe in the future, you send it to your doctor. And see, this is where I'm going with this. Uh, if you could take a picture or, or live stream with your doctor or something, maybe you just log into your doctor's app and you tell him about your problems, you send him pictures, you, uh, he can check your temperature, your uh, heart rate, your blood pressure, all this 
without you having to actually be there. You're able to do everything by yourself. And of course, yes, some of these tools, they're, they're going to cost a little bit, but I would imagine that they'll try to get it down as low price as possible. And if you make it this easy and accessible, you could cut down a lot of long lines at the doctor's office. You could take care of a lot of stuff really fast and easy. You know, a doctor sitting there, he's got all types of stuff on his desk. Sorry about that. That's my phone. That's my smartphone that's not yet my doctor, but hopefully it will soon be my doctor. Uh, but he's sitting there on his desk. He's got all sorts of files and stuff, and he's got your image there that you've sent from your phone, and he says, yeah, your kid has an ear infection, so let's go ahead, fill out a prescription, and there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. So that, I believe, is the future of medicine, and that is universal health care, which could be used anywhere you know in developing countries this type of stuff could really be useful and uh, you know in the future doctors may have a lot less hands-on time which I think would be good in a way because that way you're not exposing your sickness to other people you're not uh, putting yourself in danger of picking up other sicknesses at the doctor's office and that way when people do go to the doctor that means those people are people who need to actually be at the doctor's office. They've got something serious that the doctor needs to check out. Again, this is not going to get rid of doctors, and it has no intention to. Uh, so you got to use a little common sense here. But with a little visionary imagination, you can kind of see where this can go. And there's all sorts of devices that can be made and sold. And pretty soon, your smartphone could also be your doctor. So that's where I see the future of medicine going. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, post below what you think about this and what you kind of envision the future as being with the health field and your cell phone. And uh, let me know. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Also, I'll post a link in the description box to the article so you can read for yourself what all is happening here. And as always, this was found on the front page of VGN, videogamesandnews.com. If you want to get the latest gaming and tech news, that's where it's happening. All the links in the description box, including to my Twitter and Facebook. And that does it for me, The Red Dragon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.